Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and it's Tuesday, which means I'm here with your new photo news fix. This photo news fix is brought to you by the fine people at Rode. You know, the jacket that I'm wearing. Why? Because I'm giving away a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, which so happens to be the mic that I use when I'm vlogging. Now, here's how you win. Leave a comment on why you need this mic. Hit the thumbs up, be subscribed on YouTube, or if you're on Facebook, leave a comment with why you need the mic, hit the thumbs up button, and give it a Sherry McSherishin. The winner will be selected at random from either YouTube or Facebook and announced at the end of next week's fix. Good luck. Here you go, Steven. Oh, no! Have you ever seen an image on Instagram and wish you could share it without having to use a third-party app? Well, it looks like Instagram is testing out a regram button to allow you to do just that. The Next Web is reporting that Instagram is currently running a test with a small amount of users, allowing them to regram others' work. In theory, this sounds like a great idea, but I remember when this was tried inside of Vine, and it caused my feed to fill up with the same Vine over and over again. Here's how I hope it works. If you regram my photo, it will show up in your feed. Get likes, comments, and more shares, all while my original post continues to count the like and shares. You know, Steven, because I chase numbers and all. It would also be great for the shared image to offer a follow button and easily linkable access back to the original poster's feed. This could really cut down on copyright lawsuits or celebrities getting sued for not asking for permission. See last week's fix if you don't know what I'm talking about. The way I see it, if your account is public and you post a photo, then you're in essence opting in to the regram program. On the flip side, if your account is set to private, people should not be able to regram your images. TNW also reports that Instagram is working on a feature called Closeted Friends with me at the top of the list. Wait, that, that can't be right. It actually says, oh, closest friends, not closeted. Now this is similar to how the app Path works. It would allow you to share certain things only with your closest friends. Now if we can only get chronological order back, well then maybe we would be onto something. Now what do you think about this regram feature? Let me know in the comments below. Oh yeah, don't forget those comments below may help you win a road. Video Mic Pro Plus. Is DJI spying on the United States of America for China? Fast Company is reporting that an unclassified memo that was issued back in August by ICE. Where to your mother? No, not that ICE. Yourself, or you wreck yourself. No, not that ICE either. Cash money ain't never gonna play out. No, Dan, not that ICE either. The other ICE, Immigration and Custom Enforcement. You know, the people you don't want to see knock on your door right now. In the memo, the ICE agents notes he or she assesses with moderate confidence, yeah, moderate confidence, you know, you can take this as if it's true, that Chinese-based company DJI Science and Technology is providing U.S. critical infrastructure and law enforcement data to the Chinese government. Now, this is an interesting accusation, I must say. I wonder if it can be backed up by actual facts or simply conjecture, or moderately available something or other. I'm moderately sure that I shoot wrong. On one hand, I would like to think this isn't possible, but on the other hand, why wouldn't it be possible? ICE goes on to claim, and, and bear with me for this one, this is a long quote that I may not actually finish. The UAS operate on two Android smartphone applications called DJI Go and Sky Pixels that automatically tag GPS imagery and locations, register facial recognition data even when the system is off, not that I think that actually does something. Additionally, the applications capture user's identification, email address, full names, phone numbers, images, videos, and computer credentials. I hope they don't get my photos, Steven. Much of the information collected includes proprietary and sensitive critical infrastructure data, such as detailed imagery of power control panels, security measures for critical infrastructure sites, or materials used in bridge construction. Finally, that quote is over. The ICE agent claims they got the information from open source reporting, whatever that is, and a reliable source within the UAS industry with first and second hand access I wonder if their source was Deep Throat. Now this is a serious accusation and DJI spokesman Adam Lisberg called the memo utterly insane. DJI then responded with the following statement via their official website. Many of the allegations in the ICE report are obviously false. The claims that DJI systems can register facial recognition data even while powered off, that Parrot and Unique have stopped manufacturing competitive products, and that DJI products have substantial price differences between 
the US and China can be easily disproven with a basic knowledge of technology and the drone industry. Or get this, even with a simple internet search. Ooh, sick he just told you, take that ice, ice, baby. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, bum. Will this story cause you to ground your Skynet or do you think it's all BS? BS? But what is that? Oh no, it's China. It's spying on me. China, stop spying on me, China. China, China, China. Joey L is back with another photo essay called Tombo's Wound, Sierra Leone. This time he was commissioned by WaterAid, a nonprofit international NGO or non-governmental organization working to bring clean water to Sierra Leone. The images he captured became part of WaterAid's untapped campaign. In my opinion, I think Joey L is one of the best visual storytellers of our generation. Steven, isn't Todd Wolf one of the others? So what's your story? Nah. He's constantly putting himself in harm's way to tell stories that need to be told. Not only does he he capture photographs that leave you wanting to know more, he also has a way with the written word. For this project, he gives you the ins and outs of how it all came about. How did the villagers come to accept him being there to capture the photos? How did they come together to help make Joey's ideas turn into reality? Was there a language barrier? I love how each photo tells the story of the people in it. You find out the person's name, their age, and what they do in the community. It's all about the story. Drive home the story, make that personal connection, and you will make a lasting impact. Joey writes, ultimately the images went toward an uplifting and innovative fundraising campaign that breaks out each character in the community, tells their individual stories, and inspires admiration and hope rather than pity and sadness. It was a dream project for me working with a well-respected water charity that does thorough, responsible work and an overall lovely two weeks in the rainforest with the people of Sierra Leone. Donations to WaterAid's untapped appeal will be doubled by the UK government until January 31st. I highly suggest you head on over to joeyl.com to read the full post. And finally, I'm ready to share with you the secret to getting 600,000 Instagram followers in a matter of weeks. You think they believe me, Steven? Okay, here we go. The secret is... Take pictures of different hotels' carpets around the world and hope for the best. That's exactly what photographer and pilot Bill Young did. The truth of the matter is he started his Instagram two years ago and added a whopping, get this, 83 followers in that two year period. Being a pilot, he travels a lot and sees a lot of different unique carpets under his feet, filling up his Instagram with carpet photos. So what changed? How did he go from 83 to 600,000 in a few weeks? The answer, his daughter. On November 25th, she revealed her idea for the perfect Christmas gift for her dad via Twitter. She said this, all I want for Christmas is for my dad's hotel carpet Instagram to go viral. Please help this happen. Now, why didn't I think about that? Hey, Steven, what are you gonna get me for the first night of Hanukkah? Humbug. After the initial tweet went out, it was liked over 25,000 times and retweeted 8,000 times in just a few days. Her dad went from 83 followers to over 28,000. As the days went on and more outlets started to pick up the story, Bill's account climbed to 200,000, then 300,000, then 400,000, and now has over 600,000 followers. Quick, Steven, get that girl on the line and try to hire her, because I, I could use more Instagram followers. Now, there you have it. Now you know the secret to getting over 600,000 followers on Instagram quickly. Now go out there and make it happen. Nonetheless, I hope Bill continues with his hotel carpet photos. You never know, one of those companies might offer him some free carpet one day. And there you have it, that's your photo news fix this time around. Don't forget, I'm giving away this Rode VideoMic Pro Plus to one of you watching right now. Does that make me crazy? Maybe. See the description down below for how you can get entered to win. To check out the last photo news fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. And don't forget, tune in next Tuesday to see who wins this Rode microphone. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.